Okay, the fifth essential movement is what we call core. Rather than doing all of those crunches and ab classes and all that other nonsense, if you engage your abs in just about everything you do, you will build washboard abs. But key to that is the ability to engage the abs, and for that we do an exercise built around a core movement called the plank. The first level of mastery in this exercise is what we call the hand-knee plank, and it's pretty simple. You get down on your knees, and you basically get into a ready, a start push-up position, and you engage your abs and tighten your glutes and try to pull your belly button close to your waist. And by contracting your abs that way, maintain a straight position, okay? Simple as that, again, the head's in a neutral position, and you're gonna hold that for however many seconds it says in your particular level of mastery. The next thing to do is to simply roll over on the knees, okay, and with the um, arching yourself slightly in an arc toward the sky, again, hold the position for 30 seconds, and this will work the obliques on both sides. One is pulling and one is pushing. And then switch to the other side, which I will do facing you. And again, the, the hand's going to be below the shoulder, slightly up, like that. Simple as that, and once you've hit the number of seconds it says to move on, time to move on. Okay, the next level of mastery is a fairly simple progression. We're going to go from our hands to our forearms, and believe it or not, this adds a level of difficulty that we can't achieve um, any other way without getting too uh, much toward the, the finished product. So once we have to, we have to get to this level of, of mastery, uh, we can, the shoulders notice they can be up, they can be down, but they should be in a neutral position, probably halfway between up and down. You can look straight ahead or just above your thumbs. Uh, try to keep a straight body. And again, this is about contracting the abs and the glutes. And um, just hold it for as long as you need to hold it. And again, then you're going to move on to, you can keep a fist, move on to your side, do a side version of this from the knees and forearms. Okay, hold that. And then I'll scoot around and hold it on this side. And again, the shoulders are going to be above the elbows. So you don't want to be out too far like this, otherwise you'll work your lats and it won't work the core muscles that you want to work. Okay, and you can do it like that. You can bend your knees however you want to do it. Okay, moving on, the next level of the plank, this set of core exercises, is hands and feet. And it's basically the push-up ready position. As simple as that, but again, you want to keep a straight body, you want to tighten the glutes, you want to tighten the abs. This is really about feeling your abs and feeling them engaging and pulling everything together and not letting your belly sag, but, but tightening and pulling it in while you tighten the glutes. And again, you just hold this for however many seconds is required in your level, male or female, to move on to the next level. Simple as that. And then in terms of a side plank, we do the same thing, okay? Your uh, hands want to be below your shoulders. Try to keep a straight line or a slight arc if you can, and hold that for as long as you need to. And then moving on to the next side with the hand below the shoulder, holding that. And now you're ready for the final level. The final level of the core mastery, primal essential movement, is a basic plank using your forearms and up on your toes. It's an interesting exercise because for a lot of people it's almost like a rest position. If you're doing a series of movements that involves push-ups, pull-ups, squats, and so on, this is almost a rest time, and yet you're engaging your core, you're engaging your glutes, you're engaging your, your abs, your rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis. It goes simply like this. Find that neutral position, okay? And again, you can be up or you can be down, but the best place to be is probably halfway in between up and down. Straight back, 
tighten glutes on your toes and uh, hold it for as long as you feel comfortable. Work it until you get to where you can hold it long enough to hit that green level of mastery.